Hello, I'm Monsignor Harry Antwistle, the Ordinary or Leader of the Personal Ordinariate of Our Lady of the Southern Cross. So, what is an Ordinariate? Well, for centuries, people have been praying and working for Christian unity. But sadly, instead of unity occurring, further divisions have taken place. And there are now many Christian groups that believe that true Christian unity is unachievable in our time. So they say that what we should do is settle for praying, studying and working with each other for the good of all. Now that's always a good thing to do. But in more recent times, groups of Anglicans have been asking the Holy See what was needed for them to be united with the Holy Father while still holding on to some English spiritual traditions. And in 2009, then Pope Benedict XVI welcomed a number of Anglicans into full communion with the Catholic Church while still allowing them to bring some of their unique heritage with them. Moreover, he created a quasi-diocese with their own leader. The Ordinariate, as it's called, would minister alongside the local Catholic diocese, sharing the mission. And the Ordinariate of Our Lady of the Southern Cross was established in Australia on June the 15th, 2012. True unity, what it looks like and how to get there, is now visible because it has finally arrived. So the English spiritual tradition stretches from the Celtic Church through St. Augustine of Canterbury and the great religious communities of the Benedictines and the Cistercians. It's been shaped by the Reformation by English scholars and mystics, and in the 19th century by people like Blessed John Henry Newman and countless others. Now it has always influenced the Catholic Church since the Reformation from the outside. Now it strives for a balance between head and heart. Its pastoral, clergy and laity work and pray together they share their ministry together and work as partners. Balance exists between holy stillness and movement and praise. Now we use a more formal language in our community worship and include inspiring music and hymns which can lift the heart and offer great praise to God. We do our best to learn how to pray, studying the faith, and serving those in need wherever they are. Now it's pastoral in nature and now it is back where it belongs. It can flourish and nurture the whole church from the inside. Well it's called personal because membership is a personal choice. Former Anglicans even if they're now Catholic, and those who are now Protestant, or those who may belong to no faith community, may join. Anyone, including baptized Catholics, who are not confirmed, and are willing to be confirmed in the Ordinariate, can also join. Anyone can worship in Ordinariate churches, and all Catholics will still fulfill their obligation by receiving communion in ordinary masses. While some former Anglicans still miss some of the things they left behind now that they're Catholics, they can reconnect within the Catholic Church and even if they're happy in a diocesan parish, they are free to embrace their previous traditions by paying us an occasional visit. Now like the mission of Jesus Christ himself, Growth in the Ordinariate is steady under the guidance of the Holy Spirit. And we in the Ordinariate appreciate all the prayers 
and the support we receive from so many people. But if you'd like to join our supporters network, please complete the form and give it to an ordinary app member. We will send you news and you can connect with your nearest ordinary app community. Information leaflets are also available on the Ordinariat, so please take one, and I hope to hear from you very soon.